Hi, um, my name is Milin Tai. I, um, I guess one way to introduce myself is that I am a, a, a daughter, a sister, a mother, a wife, and an elected official. Um, I have served as um, elected uh, official in the capacity of a school board director for the Bellevue School District uh, prior to the current role. Um, which is the state representative for the uh, 41st legislative district. I'm very grateful to have an opportunity to, uh, to speak to uh, the audience today, um, an event that is um, led and hosted by um, the Bellevue School District students. And this is exciting, it's very exciting. So, you know, I was asked, um, to share uh, this talk uh, around the theme of the event. So I put a little bit of thought into it and I think that everyone has some sort of a similar enough beginnings. Um, however, I think it's, it's the middle, the journey that shapes us to become who we are in our very own uniqueness. And at the beginning, I was thinking of starting the talk with uh, knowing a second language has literally saved my life and give me a second chance. But then I thought that was way too dramatic. So um, I decided to share with you a story um, at the trip that um, I went to China roughly five years ago as a part of the US delegation of educators and leaders in education to deepen our understanding how educational system there is supported and structured. So one of the classroom we visited was a seventh grade classroom and it filled with kids chatting in mandarins and laughters as we um, entered the scenes. Once we were introduced, um, a teacher asked a student if they have any questions. Um, student raised their hand and um, asked their questions succinctly in English, um, which was pretty impressive. Toward the end, the last question uh, was directed specifically to me. I guess part of it's because um, I am an Asian woman. And the question was, could you share with us the similarities and the differences between the students in a classroom in the United States or where you're at compared to ours? I thought for a minute and um, answered the questions like this. Uh, in my own observations, the similarity really lies in the students. Um, the seventh graders where I'm from um, is just as much of hardworking uh, students and putting a lot of effort into their learning because they know that education would give them so much more opportunities in life. The difference, however, lies in the student's body. In the United States, when one enters a classroom, um, the student makeup is not only from different parts of life, but they also come from uh, an experience, different cultures, and coming from different part of the globe. That give each and every of our students, each and every of our seventh grader, a window um, to the world and is open up to them. In compared to the classroom in front of me currently, um, your student body is pretty homogeneous. And in order to to meet these individuals and to hear these stories and to experience these different culture, you would need to travel outside of your classroom, um, even outside of your own town um, in order to have that experience. 
So I'm sharing that story with you because in my mind, it's really speak to um, the theme of the word is in your hands. I think that when we choose to open ourselves and invite those who may not look like us, uh, may not share our experience, may not speak our language um, into our space and open our mind and our heart to learn from them and understand them. And once they gift us their stories and their experience, that in itself enrich all of our lives. And we are so lucky that in our very own classrooms here um, in this school district, in our state, in our country, that experience really afford us to be able to, to open our mind and expanding our knowledge about things that other places wouldn't have that experience. So I hope that that little story that I had an opportunity to travel and meet uh, these seventh graders in China um, would help really speak to how we can see and seize the opportunity to have the word in our hands when we open to the possibility of seeing diversity is our strength. Once again, I thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and I wish all the success um, in your event.